24 hours but you've seen in the title anyways I don't really know why I need to explain that but yeah it's gonna be a tiny bit hard but then again if this challenge kind of fails and they have a load of food left it doesn't really matter because I have a six year old sister so she's definitely gonna eat some of the stuff I leave but I thought it'd be a fun challenge anyways I just messed up this intro full stop but yeah <laughs> let's just get onto the video and I lose my voice Okay, so this is like the majority of the food I got for this challenge, but there is a few stuff we already have in the house, and obviously I'm going to be going to get Happy Meal tonight, so this is not everything, but this is just stuff that I'm going to be consuming throughout the day. We've got like a massive box of Capri Suns, we've got loads of sweets, so we've got dip dabs, winders, pink and whites over there, we've got Kinder Surprise, rice pudding, spaghetti and sausage, bread, Dairy Dunkers, these chocolate straw things, cheese strings, Milky Bar Mousse, there is a lot of stuff to get through here, so this is going to be a fun challenge. So, it's currently the morning, and as you can tell, I pretty much just woke up because I sound like a man. It's time for the first meal of the day, which is obviously breakfast. Now, as a kid, I didn't really enjoy eating breakfast, like, at all. One thing I do remember from when I was younger is that I hated having crust on toast, and there was this kind of bread that you could buy from the shop called Milk Roll, which had crust on it, but it was kind of like really thin, so you couldn't really tell. And I used to have that as toast. But then I was thinking like that's kind of boring to just have toast for breakfast in this video because I wanted to make it as fun as possible. And I found Tubby Toast. Now, if any of you guys watched Telly Tubbies when you were younger, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's basically the little chocolate smiley face toast that they had. And I know in this picture it just looks like burnt toast with a little smiley face in it, but I'm gonna spice it up a bit and add some Nutella on it to make it that colour. So let's go make some tubby toast for my breakfast. So this is milk roll for anyone who hasn't seen or heard of it before. I don't really know why it's called milk roll, but it's basically just round white bread, which is like super soft. And then I'm gonna put Nutella on it now. As a kid, I probably didn't have Nutella because I wasn't the most adventurous. I'd probably just had really cheap chocolate spread, but this is all we have at the moment. So just gonna make do. So let's make some tubby toast. Okay, so the toast is toasted. I'm just trying to cut little smiley face marks out <laughs> with the knife, but this is proving very difficult. Come on. So I like two eyeballs. Does it fuck? There we go, there's one smiley face. God, these look terrifying. Oh, this is gonna go so wrong. I probably should have put the chocolate spread on before I cut the eyes out. That would have been a smarter idea. Well, that looks nothing like tubby toast. <laughs> Oh, I should have done that. This'll do. Right, well that's as best it's gonna get because I didn't think of doing it the other way, so that's my tubby toast. <coughs> okay, so this is my breakfast this morning. Ooh. This does not resemble anything of tubby toast and I could have done it a completely easier way, which my mum just explained to me, but I couldn't be bothered remaking it, so this is what we're going with today. It's now freezing cold and rock hard. And then I also have a glass of milk with one of the um, milkshake straws, so we're gonna give this a go. Oh, that's sweet. Oh my god. That just literally tastes like pure sugar. Let's enjoy the tubby toast. I mean, it tastes nice, it's just Nutella on toast. And that is the breakfast done. I can't bear to finish this off. It's actually. I'm gonna go get dressed and make myself look more presentable. I'll be back with you when it's time for dinner. So it's a few hours later now and I'm looking slightly more human. It is currently 25 to 1 so I'm gonna go downstairs and make my dinner which, not gonna lie, I'm not really excited for because we're having tin spaghetti and sausage and smiley faces. Yay. And this is what the dinner consists of. So we have some lovely Heinz spaghetti and sausages, wow. And the leftover smiley faces which we had in the freezer because these I used to live off as a child. And I'm now realizing this is the second thing I'm having today which has a smiley face. Here's the dinner. So I've just popped the oven on in the background there. And we're gonna take the rest of what's left of these smiley faces. I don't think there's a lot to be honest. So put these lovely little faces on the tray. Cute. Five year old me would be absolutely buzzing over this. And they're gonna be in the oven for a good like 10 to 15 minutes, I think. 
don't really know, I probably should be the packet. And then I will put the sausage and beans in because they literally take like two seconds, so. Ugh, it's straight spaghetti, I thought it was hoops. Oh, yay. It wouldn't be a childhood food video if it wasn't microwavable. Let's pop this in here. Wow. Okay, so we have the spaghetti and the sausage, which smells absolutely vile. I'm just gonna pop these smiley faces on a little plate. Ketchup in his obsession I haven't let go of ever since I was literally born, so. Oh, lovely, it's a broken one. What an appetizing dinner. And so on my dinner, I also have a Capri Sun. I'm gonna be drinking these throughout the whole rest of this video because this is the only other drink I bought. As a kid, Tropico was my favorite. I didn't really like the black currant ones or the orange. So Tropico is the one we are drinking today. Let's give it a go because this looks absolutely vile. I'm unsure on the sausage, maybe I'll just eat the spaghetti. Mm. Oh my god! I have not drank this since I was like six. I'm gonna scrap the dinner. I'm gonna finish my Capri Sun. Yeah. Just forgot I actually bought a box of mini milks because I've been in the freezer, I didn't include them in the start of the video. So I'm gonna have a mini milk because these are literally what I lived off when I was younger. This makes me so happy, you don't even understand that. I'm gonna go enjoy this in the garden because it is very hot and sunny today, so this is perfect too. It's a few hours late now and it is very hot. I feel like I'm sat in a greenhouse in your car. <sighs> I'm with Jack by the way, I'm not Just talking to myself. Up. But we're going to McDonald's because I'm going to get my happy meal because obviously I had a happy meal with the kids. Yeah, so I'm going to go get and I'm getting one for Minnie as well. Cheers. Cheers, thank you. We are back. My hair is a mess because the sun and the heat just makes it go crazy frizzy. But this is my tea. So we have the cheeseburger, chips. God, I never even realised how small the chips in Happy Meal were. We have the toy, which is, what are you? Looks like some Lego pirate, like, I don't know. <laughs> For you. With my Happy Meal, I got a chocolate milkshake because I didn't like the strawberry milkshakes as a kid, so I always got chocolate. I'm now realising that I bought way too much stuff this video. I'm gonna open these. It just smells like ice cream wafers. But if you've never seen a pink and white before, then this is basically what it looks like. It is just wafer with strawberry and just a white marshmallow. Also like cardboard. Tastes like cardboard. The marshmallow doesn't even taste of anything. Let's have a fruit winder instead. This is nice. It's just very, very sticky. These are good. Please ignore how I look, I literally have just woken up but we are about to have the final meal of the challenge and I'm having rice pudding with jam because I used to have that quite a lot as a kid. Oh by the way if you're wondering, I picked my nails off before I went to sleep last night because I lost one and I couldn't remember when I trying to find it so I just ragged them all off so now my nails look like this. So this is the rice pudding and raspberry jam. Now it looks very disgusting but I used to love this as a kid so I kind of have high hopes for it still so... Oh, you can't beat rice pudding. I don't even know what it tastes like, it's just really nice and sweet and warm. <laughs> the rice pudding is done, that was honestly like the nicest thing and I'm gonna have that more often because I forgot how good that actually was but that completes this 24 hours eating only childhood foods. So that was it for this 24 hour challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And also let me know in the comments any childhood foods I missed out on this video or I could have included down in the description box. But I kind of wanted to make this a bit more creative and not just like everybody else's videos, hence why the breakfast was a little bit adventurous. But yeah, let me know your favorite childhood foods in the comments below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. S O S never guess cuz I know mama told me that I'm blessed but he never wanna show get impressed cuz I'm dope you don't smoke what you mean keep it potent as the green so you know it's happy tree I love you.